So what we're doing right now is, is spending some time down on the range uh, practicing our trigger pull. We're gonna be hunting soon with this handgun right here. It's a 10 millimeter uh, from Smith & Wesson, one of the many uh, firearms in their lineup. And my goal when I come down to the, down to the range is always to kind of simulate my hunting scenarios, practice, you know, the different things that I, I'm gonna anticipate happening while I'm out there. I'm gonna be hunting on um, this one, uh, depending on what the deer are doing, probably in a ground blind, maybe even sitting on the ground behind some brush. And I want them inside of 30 yards. Right now I'm practicing just under 15. Uh, I've got open sights, you know, and, and I'm trying to learn some new ammo that I uh, recently picked up. I mean, we're all dealing with an ammo shortage, so you kind of got to take what you can get right now and, and practice in. And, and right now I'm shooting a little high and a little left. And you know, open sights is a different challenge. For some people it's easy, for some people it's, it's, it's hard. But as I learn a little bit more about this handgun, the ammo and what I can personally do with it, I'll dial it in and, and we'll head out into a hunting scenario and, and see how this performs. I know it's gonna perform very well as long as I don't mess it up when it's all said and done. Well, good morning. We've got the 16 Classic and 10 millimeter from Smith & Wesson in our hands today. And we're either gonna try to take a doe or a hog to fill the freezer with a little bit. This is a great handgun for hunting personal defense and just fun shooting. I've actually got the six and a half inch barrel right here because I like it. It's going to give you the maximum amount of velocity that you can get um, out of this round, I feel. And we've also kind of tweaked this a little bit. We've added a high vis sight as well for when we're in a hunting situation. Uh, it works just as good if you're in personal defense or target shooting as well, obviously. And, It'll allow us to acquire our target a little bit faster and basically see it a little better. So we're going to let the sun come up here. We've got a little bit of time to wait and see if we can't get something out in front of us. Unfortunately, this morning it was all young deer, or deer that either stayed just out of Wade's comfortable range or behind the brush, so Wade's going home empty-handed. But hey, that's hunting. <laughs> 